third grade ELA, the essential question for this is why is it important to learn about the animals that share our world? Um, our goal for today is to notice and use organizational, organizational tools in a text, um, i.e. map or index or glossary. A lot of things that um, nonfiction text has. All right. Um, the title of the book I'm going to read is just one word, ape. What are you thinking? Look at the cover. This is one kind of ape, a chimp. A chimp. What are some things you know about chimps already? All right. I'm going to turn to the map on the back. Okay. So these shaded areas are the only places in the world that the apes have left to live. So right in here in Africa and a little bit at the end of Asia. What are your thoughts about this? There are five kinds of great apes in the world. Each of them is different from the others, but not so very different. They're all part of the same family. Four of them are very rare, orangutan, chimp, bonaboo, and gorilla. Here they are. Orangutan. Orangutan swings with her baby. She has long, hairy arms with strong hands for clutching at branches and feet that can grasp the trunk of a tree. That's fruits. That fruit's out of reach. So orangutans live in the rainforest of Borna and Sumatari Sim in Southeast Asia. They spend almost all of their time in trees. So down here gives us facts about orangutans. But not for long, it's a durian. Smelly, spiky, delicious. Orangutans are mostly vegetarian, vegetarians. They eat a lot of different kinds of fruit, but are especially fond of durains. Orangutan looks after her baby alone. She keeps to herself high up, up, high up in the treetops. Each night she builds a nest out of branches to sleep on, then pulls down a palm frond to keep off the rain. Um, so I have two questions. So how do you think the baby feels swinging with its mother? Over here. Okay. And then um, the palm frond right here. What do you notice? I'm sorry. Look at the way the orangutan makes an umbrella out of a palm frond. That is very clever, isn't it? Chimp. Say, so what do you notice about the chimp's face? What do you notice? Chimp lives in a gang with his brothers and sisters and uncles and cousins. They squabble and play and go roaming the hillsides, hunting down monkeys and digging up roots. Chimpanzees live in forests and, and savannas in Central and West Africa. Here's a termite nest. Chimp pokes down a hole with a long blade of grass, then pulls out the grass and licks off the termites. Chimpanzees spend a lot of time on the ground. They eat lots of different things and are very good at making and using tools. So look at the stick. What do you notice about the way the chimp uses the stick? How does he use the stick? Chip's gang sometimes gets into fights with other chip gangs. Nasty fights with lots of biting and hitting. Sometimes someone get hurt, gets hurt. Aww. Bonaboo. Bonaboo chatters and hoots and calls to her friends while feasting on f figs high off the ground. Bamboos live in the rainforest of the Congo Basin in Central Africa. They mostly eat different kinds of fruit. So look how the illustrator Vicki White made this illustration. What are your thoughts about how she did this? She drops from the tree and moves quickly and quietly, watching and listening. There may be hunters or leopards nearby. Bonaboos spend a lot of time feeding in the trees, but often travel on the ground from on 
from one footing feeding place to another. Back in the treetops, Bunaboo plays with her friends safe again. Gorilla. Gorilla lounges, chewing on bamboo stems and chomping on leaves. The silver hair on his back shows that he is old. Gorillas live in the forests of Central Africa. They can get to be 40 or 50 years old. So listen as I read the words again and notice how the author, Martin Jenkins, uses the different writing for different words on the page. It says, Gorilla lounges. Chewing on bamboo stems and chopping on leaves. The silver hair on his back shows that he's old. Okay? And then with a different font, the author has this down here. Gorillas live in the forests of Central Africa. They can get to be 40 or 50 years old. Why would this author choose different fonts for these two things? Why would he do that? Okay. Gorilla grunts to his family, then snoozes. He wakes up, plays with his babies, baby, then snoozes some more. Gorillas live in small family groups of one male with a few females, and they're young. They are vegetarians and spend a lot of time eating and sleeping. He wakes up again, chews on some bamboo, builds a nest for the night, and lies down to sleep. And the fifth kind of great ape is, do you know who? You and me. We humans are part of the great ape family too. We're not rare like the rest of them though. There are lots and lots and lots of us, but we can do ha we but we do have other things in common. We look like them, especially our faces. We live long lives like they do and usually have only one baby at a time. Who takes years to grow up? We're all smart too, probably smarter than any other animals. We're too smart sometimes. At least we humans are. We just can't stop changing things. We've changed the world so much. We haven't left enough, enough room for the other great apes. And we've hunted them for food or to keep as pets. In some places, though, we're trying to protect them now. We've set aside pieces of wild land where they can live their lives in peace. Swinging and stomping, chattering and playing, eating and sleeping, and doing all the other great things we apes love to do. So how does this author surprise you here? Did you know that you are part of the ape family too? Did you know that? And again, this is the map. So nonfiction books have maps to show us where animals live. And we also have the index. The index basically just shows us um, where these certain words are. So if we, find, if we were looking for babies, we could go to page 10, 15, 39, 42, and we could find that word. Okay. And the end.